Oh yeah, it's your boy Kong Tax. The Congo just got crazy. I hope everyone had a good new year. I hope everyone got some amazing loving from the girlfriends and the boyfriends and shit. Your boy been getting ready for the new year in this bitch. Lots of eight women out there waiting for your boy. I'm bringing sexy back, baby. Look at these arms. Look at these arms. Mmm, tasty. So muscly and succulent. Sorry, bras can't be with you for some reason. The next door neighbors are Jamaican, right? They had a barbecue. Bras went there, never came back. I don't know what to say. I think he's still eating in that bitch. Anyway, Blade Runner 2049. Come on, damn. What an amazing movie. What an amazing movie. It's nice that finally you get a director who knows how to make a good sci-fi sequel, who actually paid attention to the original. He didn't leave the film open-ended. He did it the right way. I highly recommend you watch it. One of the best films of last year. What's scariest? There's a lot of people who haven't even seen Blade Runner 1. I suggest you watch Blade Runner first before you watch this bad boy. Forget all that. Let's get down to the tech specs. You got the black bars. Short, short. In 3.4K. Visual effects, 3.4K. Digital intermediate, 4K. Dolby Atmos sound. Now I gotta say people, I didn't want to say this shit, but I will say this shit. This has to be the worst looking 4K Blu-ray of this year. If you're blind. This movie looks amazing. What a great start to 2018. Firstly, let's just say the movie looked beautiful as it is. The cinematographer needs an award or someone needs to send him a very high class call girl to his house. Make him happy because he did a fantastic job. That coupled with the uptick in detail, oh my god. Ryan Gosling, you can see the wrinkles, you can see the spots, you can see the hair follicles, you can see the hair follicles on the stubble in your face. Oh shit. Harrison Ford looking a bit older these days, I don't know what to say, but Harrison Ford is still the man. Harrison Ford can do no wrong. There is a gorgeous uptick in detail from the flying cars, from the seas, from the landscape, from the locations, from the sets. Everything looks tasty. I don't know whether you know Mrs. Kong over there. Just letting you know in case you may have seen her around. Don't even get me started on the depth. Depth, another one looks great. Like I said, a lot of landscape shots, lots of city shots. Great three-dimensional pop. When you see the car, just an inch, it's like goes there, and then dips out the screen there, and then it comes back in that bitch. <laughs> car blows up, right? And then you see Ryan Gosling, right? Ryan Gosling walking like the champ. Walking like he know what he did. Walking like a total badass. You see the foreground, and you see the background. Saw the car behind him, see what's in front of him, see him. Great space between characters. Depth is another great one. See how good of a review I am? You hear this Harris police after your boy. Cause he too dangerous, baby. Black level's another plus point. For the most part, very deep, very deep. Black, like nothingness, like space. Some of this movie obviously shot in the dark. Guess what? No crush, nice deep and inky. I hate saying deep and inky, but that's exactly what this shit is. You wanna know what the HDR is like? So basically, yeah, just like the movie, you dating a hot Android chick, yeah? But she Robocop, but she look beautiful. She looking A1. And you know how these Androids can change their clothes, change everything just like that? Just a click of a button. Imagine if she do that, but then she could turn into any woman you want. Imagine if you say, God damn, maybe I want you to look like Eva Mendes in this bitch. And she turn into Eva Mendes, God that's a perfect woman right there that's what the hdr is like to a movie which was already so rich and so vibrant from colors i saw the 3d you see brass tax 3d review you better watch that shit that shit amazing just look at the hdr in this bitch so bright so bright where my shades where my shades so already so rich and so bold with colors on the 1080p but god damn does it take it up a notch oh shit colors have a bit more pop to them Colors bring out more textures than Ryan Gosling's coat in this bitch. Even makeup on the androids, even the, the neon lighting in the city. God damn. She looked amazing. She walking up the stairs and it's a very amber-esque type lighting. You want to know how bright that shit was? Do you want to know? <laughs> that shit was so bright throughout the whole damn movie. Nice, bright, vibrant picture. Extra color detail. This shit is just the winner in this bitch. 
tell your girl to go sit on a wolf and see what happens. I'm going to tell you what happens. She's going to sit there. She's going to stay there forever. The rumblings, the explosions, car chases, the gunfire. Oh, shit. This her reference quality. Dolby Atmos tracking this bitch. People walking up the stairs. You're hearing footsteps. Going from left to the right. Explosion, Ryan Gosling looking all statuettes trying to be a model in this bitch walking off. Explosion in the back, guess what? You hear the explosion way in the back. A beautiful wide sound stage. And don't get me started on the music on this bitch, it's nice techno-esque. Listen, the music just A1. I'll take some of that music and I want to remix it and I want to rap over that bitch. Kong album coming soon, I'm letting you know now. Music's thumping, you are not going to be disappointed. Voice is nice and clear, it's very hard to talk about a reference track without saying it's just a one take my word for it you gonna love it it's a reference dick wait a minute it's a reference disc in this bitch when you talk about reference dick you talking to my mind shit right here oh shit beautiful beautiful transfer if you don't pick it up i don't know what's wrong with you but if you're gonna pick it up make sure you pick up the first one as well you gotta see the first one before you see the second one because there are references that you won't get so you go watch that bitch. First one's a great transfer too, shit. No brainer, guys. You've already got it on pre-order. You just wanted to know what contacts had to say about this bitch. All right, guys. You take care. 4K Rockstar, baby. You already know.